In this video, I will be talking about dividing mentally two to three digit by one digit numbers. So let's have an example. 96 divided by 3. So of course, we can divide this uh, by writing using a long division. But then it's not always the case that we can will have a paper and pen to solve it. And so we have to learn how to mentally divide this number. So dividing mentally is not that easy. When you have a lot of tasks, a lot of uh, numbers to remember and steps to remember in order to analyze the quotient of these two numbers. So this is how you conceptualize this on your mind so that it's easier for you to divide the number. So 96, you can separate it as 90 and 6. So the reason why we choose 90 and 6 instead of other numbers because uh, 90 has a uh, tens, uh, tens digit which is 9 and 9 is uh, divisible by 3 and 6 is also divisible by 3. So we make sure that the tens place and the uh, ones digit are both divisible by the divisor because we're going to divide this both by 3. And so when you are dividing a number with uh, multiples of tens, you just get the zero in the, as the quotient and just divide the remaining. So that makes it easier for you to divide mentally. So 9 divided by 3 is 3, and we have 30, because 90 divided by 3 is 30. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then we divide, uh, we, we add them. So 30 plus 2 is 32. So the quotient of 96 and 3 is 32. Let's have another example. 186, a three digit number, divided by 6, a uh, one digit number. So let's divide this. So let's separate 186 into 2. We'll have 180 and 6 because one, uh, 18 is divisible by 6. And 6 is, of course, divisible by itself. So let's divide by 6, both. And so we put down the 0 and divide the remaining. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So 180 divided by 6 is 30. Then we divide 6 by 6, it's 1. Then we add them. So 30 plus 1 is 31. That means 186 divided by 6 is 31. So that's, this is quite easier to uh, analyze on our mind compared to just simply dividing the whole thing by 6. Now how about this? 95 divided by 5. And so if we separate 95 into 90 plus 5 and then we divide both by 5. So here's the result. So we're gonna put the 0 in the quotient and then we have a problem with 9 divided by 5. So we cannot just simply divide it unless you divide the whole thing 90 by 5. And it takes uh, harder to solve when you just put it on your mind. Unless, uh, unlike for 5 divided by 5, of course you can divide it, it's 1. But you will have a problem with 9 divided by 5. So let's use some other strategy to do it. So let's put it again, 95 divided by 5. And then this is how you do it. You add 5 to 95, so it will be 100. And 100 is easier to divide by 5. And then you subtract the one you added, which is 5. So it's still 95. Then you divide both by 5. So what's good thing here is the one that you have subtracted is also divisible by 5. So both sub uh, subtrahend and minuend 
are divisible by the divisor. And so let's divide. So copy the 0. And then divide the remaining. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Then 5 divided by 5 is 1. Then since we subtract, we also subtract their quotients. So 20 minus 1 is 19. So 95 divided by 5 is 19. Another example, 702 divided by 9. So if we separate 702 by 702, so and then we will divide both by 9. And so we'll have some problems with this because 70 divided by 9 is hard to get as well as 2 divided by 9. And so we'll use uh, other other alternative to divide which is uh, subtraction so let's put it again 702 divided by 9 and so we'll make this 720 because 72 is divisible by 9 and we'll remove 18 so that it's still 702 and 18 is divisible by 9 as well so let's divide by 9 720, we'll put the 0 and divide 72 by 9, it's 8. And then 18 divided by 9 is 2. Then we subtract 80 minus 2 is 78. So 702 divided by 9 is 78. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button. And also, write the math topics you want to learn in the comments section.